Summer is here and we've made the big trip up to Bendigo. Beautiful setting here today. The sun is shining and we're in the lovely botanical garden here in Bendigo. It's amazing. The flowers are in full bloom. They've got the nursery open, people everywhere. It's such a great setting. It's a great time of the year. So now I pose the question to you. Is Bendigo the best regional city in Australia? Right behind me is the observation tower. It's representative of the history of Bendigo because Bendigo was traditionally a mining town and that's become a symbol of their tower now. Let's get up there. And here I am at the highest point in Bendigo. Right behind me is the township of Bendigo and all around me <laughs> is some uh, barbed wire fencing so people don't fall off or people don't do sh uh, silly things up here. I've got this all to myself. Weeping 360 views. I think what we have here is a sundial. Great views. We've got the Elizabeth Oval behind me where they play football and cricket. We've got the iconic church uh, and the clock tower here in uh, Bendigo. It's a must. Once you come up to Bendigo, head up to the top of the tower. It's a little bit windy up here, so make sure you come on a nice day. Uh, today's a tad windy. It's nice though, it cools you down because it feels like the sun is right on top of my head. It's great. It gives you a different perspective of Bendigo. This is the first time I've actually climbed up here. I haven't come up here in the past. Uh, it's beautiful. It's such a lovely experience and it's free. Just head up the stairs and you can spend a few minutes up here and take some photos and enjoy the sweeping views. You could be mistaken for thinking that I'm in Asia somewhere. You could think that I'm in China, Thailand, Vietnam, any of the Asian countries, but I'm actually in Bendigo. I'm at the Yi Yuan Chinese Garden and this place is a testament to the Chinese people who have had such a big impact in the township of Bendigo. I'm at the entry of the temple, a small temple, which is found in the garden. And it's very peaceful. There's no one around. Once again, I'm a midweek traveler. <laughs> I, uh, I tend to pop out midweek when people are either working or busy and I can come here and I can just get a, a, a full immersion into what's around me. And the gardens are really nice. There's a number of different paintings on the wall depicting Chinese folklore potentially. It's a very nice setting. It's worth having a look at this place. It's near the, the Dragon Museum and it's free. Once again, I'm the king of free things to do. <laughs> I just kind of stumble along and enjoy doing free things because people do think that going places and, and you know taking a holiday or a break or a day trip is going to cost you money yeah it will cost you a little bit of money but there's also a whole heap of free things to do and visiting some place such as this garden and uh, immersing yourself into the Chinese culture and how the Chinese people have contributed to Bendigo is a must get out here and enjoy your time in the gardens Here I am at the Toy Shan Chinese restaurant. The Toy Shan Chinese restaurant is one of the oldest Chinese restaurants in Victoria. It's known to have its origins in the early 1900s. Let's go in and eat some Chinese food.
The food is amazing. I've got the fried rice with the satay chicken and mixed vegetables. Fantastic. I've also got the dim sims as well, the big ones. Just so tasty. Oh, amazing. Mmm. Look at that. So full of goodness. Just melts on your tongue. Not expensive at all. So for the fried rice, steamed veggies and chicken and two dim sims, it's $17. Had a great Chinese lunch at Toy Shan. The food's great. The place is old school. Uh, it's very traditional, but at the same time, you can't fault the food. Great service as well. Uh, greeted with a smiling face. Fantastic. Definitely go back there. Stop. We've got a little issue with the tram. Apparently, the life raft has, has released itself under the tram. So, we're sitting here. We've got a full tram waiting for some assistance. We've got the tram driver outside making a phone call. Uh, hopefully, this won't be a big problem. But in any case, I'm guessing if the tram doesn't go ahead, we'll probably have to board another tram. For some reason it spontaneously dropped and we didn't get it in <laughs> But it's just spontaneously dropped and I can't get it to come back up again. The tram saga continues. <laughs> so we've just pulled into the depot. Uh, apparently the life raft underneath the tram has given way. And now we're just waiting for a new tram. Got my map in my hand but I don't think that's going to come in useful. We'll jump on a new tram and then head back on route and see what we can get up to next. But the depot is kind of cool. We've got, a, got an old tram down there. I'll see if I can walk around there and uh, get that on camera. And everyone's kind of on the side of the road here waiting. Either way, the guys are doing a good job. I still recommend jumping on this tram. It's pretty cool. The driver told me it's a 1920s Philly tram. There you go, came here as a flat pack from America, missing the seats and then they had to retrofit the whole tram with new seats. But it's pretty cool, it's a good ride. Takes you back in time. Here we go, we got a funky new green tram this time. Look at this. Wow. Pretty cool. Here's our new tram. It's green, it's no longer red, it's pretty funky. Well, that's it for the tram. The tram's behind me now. After eating that Chinese food and rocking around on that tram, um, when it broke down, I've decided to pull the pin and head somewhere else. I've got about an hour left here in uh, Bendigo. Don't get me wrong, the tram ride was great. Um, I highly recommend it. There's still another. I only went half the way. You know, we lost about 20 minutes to half an hour because the tram broke down so I couldn't complete the whole journey but it, it goes down a far way 
to where the mines are so if you're in Bendigo do the whole trip I only did half but I've got another little special place that I'm gonna to go to right now so stick with me let's get some dessert okay so I'm sitting here in the Bendigo Square and in front of me I have a traditional Aussie lamington I can smell the coconut on that one and next to that I have a vanilla slice look at that look at that look at that wobbling around look at that looks good doesn't it so I'm sitting here and I'm just looking at the name in front of the Bendigo original pie shop and the young lady told me that both of these the lamington and the vanilla slice are their specialties and they're made on site so I'm going to showcase both of these for you today okay so we're starting off with the lamington let's start with the lamington very creamy good very nice and now for our friend the vanilla slice Amazing. So tasty. Custard is superb. It's half time and I'd have to say the vanilla slice is winning. The lamington's also really good, but the, the vanilla slice is so tasty. Mwah. All right, let's go back to the lamington. It's good. Not too messy. A little bit left. Really good. And now to finish off with the vanilla slice. My favorite, without a doubt. <laughs> you have no idea. All done. Bendigo Original Pie Shop. If you want a Lemington or a vanilla slice, Bendigo Original Pie Shop. Friends and family, our day has come to an end. It's been a big day in Bendigo. It's been a very merry, merry Christmas, Bendigo. I'm in front of my favorite building, the Shamrock Hotel. Heading back to my car for the big drive back to Melbourne. Close to two hours. I love Bendigo. Bendigo is a great place to come up here for a day trip. Heaps to do. I didn't scratch the surface today. Uh, I only did half a tram ride, as you know. <laughs> due to unfortunate circumstances. Did a lot of eating. Come down to Bendigo, 
local tourism is great uh, people are smiling heaps of people out the weather is good as well uh, nice buildings for people who like Australiana we have old buildings uh, throughout all of the city uh, that reminds us of the yesteryears in my opinion this is the real Australia here in Bendigo got an ambulance going past sorry about that and what you need to do is you need to come down here and see the real Australia we've got to get out to these rural areas and uh, see how people are living breathing eating and the great camaraderie between everyone but in saying that I'll finish off here in front of the shamrock I'm driving back home it's been a great day I look forward to coming to Bendigo again sometime soon maybe adios from me don't forget to like subscribe share and comment on my videos let's build this channel let's make sure we get out to the masses Hasmaster signing off adios